Yo, yo. Back at it with the Pokemon Kaizo Ironmon challenge, Fire Red version. Didn't really let anyone know about this stream, and since it's only the second stream on the channel for this, not really expecting anyone to be hanging out, and that's alright. Kind of feel like playing the game and creating more content. Still feeling it out. Currently, oh, actually, I should take this off. Him. Currently, we have this Blastoise, and he's a bit of a weirdo. He has his high status defense. He's got okay attack. And <laughs> negative attack nature. Excellent moves. Speed boost. And we just got a TM from Brock that we can actually learn. If we... Change the music up in a sec. Alright. Now we're chilling. Alright, so... We don't want special attack on this guy. So... We have this TM for sword stands that we can learn. Like my haircut, by the way. Be sweet. Alright, so Sludge Bomb, Earthquake, excellent moves. We want to keep them. Steel Wing, we're gonna keep it because it's decent and it has high PP. Now, Extra Sensory also has high PP, but our special attack is garbage. I haven't actually quite calculated my coverage right now, but I'm trying to mull over. Obviously, there's no chat, so by myself. Like, usually I'm pretty on the ball with coverage, but this is a weird one. So I'm like, do I keep Extra Century for Mount Moon just in case? Or do I learn Swords Dance now? And have massive attack if I need it. Because with speed boost and sword stance, this weirdo becomes potentially a runner in some scenarios. Obviously, it's a bit sketchy. Roll like that, but uh, that's kind of how we're starting this one. I'm trying to think what can't I hit? Yes, Aerodactyl would give us problems. Jadinja, of course. Can't really think of much. I think I'm just gonna forget it. Just because, like, I'm not really thinking this dude's gonna run that far anyways. Personally. But he might, and if I get some super beefy opponent, then maybe Swords Dance will be a big save. Yeah, as opposed to last stream where I was kind of talking through a bunch of stuff, and then try to not this time. And, uh, yeah, so I still got an intro video coming, just haven't had a chance to produce it yet. And last stream, which is the first for this Pokemon challenge on my channel, um, I was kind of going over sort of what the challenge is and, like, nuances to observe. Uh, but this time, so it, if you happen to be watching this back later going through the challenges probably after the channel becomes more 
uh, you know, in people's awareness. I imagine someone will be watching this back one day. If you haven't already, definitely watch the first stream because I went over a bunch of stuff. So I'm just gonna be chilling. Oh my god, return? That's huge. Oh no, okay, I guess I gotta get rid of Steel Wing. Okay, so <laughs> that's kind of massive. So return. I, I forget what the base power is. I think it'll tell me when I learn it, but it's basically a move that increases power with friendship and friendship can be gained by running. So I'm probably gonna, when I run for the items in Mount Moon, I'm probably just gonna run a ton to boost the power of this. And then this move, that could become our strongest move. One of them. So, I guess it'll be about as strong as Earthquake at full happiness. I probably won't spend that much time doing that now. Uh, what do I do? I shouldn't have learned Swords Dance, I guess, because then I would have just done this for now. So Steel Wing. Steel Wing would be neutral on Aerodactyl, I guess, actually. And that's tough. I didn't learn sword stance, I put that there. Man, that's a tough decision. The steel wing is coverage, but like most things that it covers, I could hit with earthquake. But returns really strong. Yeah, I'm gonna just have to get rid of Stillwing, I guess. Very normal moveset now. Oh, okay, I was gonna say that was almost scary. I guess actually we have nothing for Skarmory now. Although Steelwing would have been almost as nothingy. Wow, well, what's it? What's it saying for return? Greater friendship? It's not really telling me much. At this point, I'm just raging that Sludge Bomb and Earthquake can hit stuff. Like, if a Steel type Pokemon had Levitate, I'd be screwed pretty much at this point. But I am lasering, so that's good. So Espeon has Levitate. I need to acknowledge that for the future if this Mon ends up surviving. All right, so... Because I have these moves now, and I could be resisted completely, I think I'm gonna just up the speed here to max and do a bunch of running. So if you're watching the stream back, I'll just go ahead and skip until you see me not doing this anymore. I'm gonna just dual purpose run for the Mount Moon um, items. So what happens with those, I'll probably actually have to pull up the list somewhere, is there's a list of, uh, there's basically a bunch of hidden items in Mount Moon, which is the cave after this. It's the next kind of gauntlet that you have to do in one shot. 
and um, they randomly spawn. Some have a 30% chance, some have a 10% chance, and so it really is just up to RNG, like, whether or not they're there. But my understanding now, which is not super... Like, I'm just doing it based on how I remember it working in streams I've watched, not, like, actually reading it. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure every 1,500 steps, that chance of spawning uh, happens again. So every 1,500 steps, you have a 30% chance and so on of, of getting these items. So what people will do is do this running for quite a while to make it so that that those items spawn, or at least that they have a higher chance. Now, the funny thing is, obviously people who actually stream this actually have people watching this, and it's not like their first time doing it. Um, so I could definitely say that like watching this and chatting can be cool, but it's kind of boring compared to the rest of stuff that might happen in a stream. Um, so yeah, if you're watching this back, just skip to when I'm not running. I'm going to keep doing this one for the items two for return. You see on the tracker, it says greater friendship next to return. Whereas earthquake says hundred power, hundred accuracy. The reason I'm doing this now is because in case we run into a Pokemon that has like Levitate and Earthquake can't hit it or is Steel and Sludge Bomb can't hit it or other weird stuff, I want Return to not just be useless because uh, that might be necessary. So that's why I'm doing this. And actually, while I'm doing this, oh, actually I can't. You know, I'm not going to get ahead of myself. I still got to beat those trainers before the format Moon. I'll be good enough for now. EP up. Oh, we're doing that on Earthquake for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna not PP up just yet, just in case we somehow, I don't even, I think there's like at least one or two more items between here and Mount Moon. Just in case we end up finding a PP Max to use on Earthquake. Uh, otherwise, I'll be happy just to use PP Up and hopefully find other PP Ups. I think it resists enough. This dude has Caterpie and Weedle. I think that's what he actually normally has. Man, our defense is so big. Like, look at this. What a weird guy. Massive defense, okay attack, like, at best. Special defense lacking, like... We get hit by a thunderbolt, we're in trouble. That guy's not a turn. Pretty sure, right? I forget where the hidden item is here. Isn't there one here? Is it this thing? I could be just tripping. There might not even be a hidden item over here. Could probably get out of the map and look. Oh, that's one. Oh, I'm still moving too fast. Damn it. One sec. I'll quickly. Blub. The map here. try to do it by memory to be honest oh my bad okay, now I'm 
just want to double check that there's no item here. Um. So I just use the other PC, but I gotta buy a bunch of repels. And I guess. I'm gonna do a little bit more running because I wasn't actually counting. What? How many laps I did? This will benefit both the items potentially and return. Um. Wait. Well, this is this is nice. Second stream. I already got a weird runner. This dude's like crazy in some areas and just totally lagging in others, but it's pretty funny. Of the special attack at nothing, just draining my attack little by little. But we got Sword Stance, and we got Return, and Earthquake and Sludge Bomb. So I'm like, I don't even know how to feel. Like, it's so... There's so much polarity going on here. Like, like positive feels and daggy feels all coexisting together. Classic life, I guess. But, uh... <laughs> such a weird guy. Alright, that's enough, I guess. 300. You know what? Cool. Alright. I think I'm good. This guy. I'm not going to use the PP up quite yet. Special D, I didn't even. Yes, actually. Yeah, I'm still still getting used to this process. After a couple hundred runs, I'm sure I'll be more stone. Most of the stuff we can't eat. Get rid of it. I'm never gonna race special back on this guy. Cool. Money, we can get 30. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm not even gonna bother getting Pokeballs because the method of if you run into Shedinja, the Pokemon with an ability that makes it so, unless it's your attack is super effective, it won't hit it and it only has one HP. I uh, think like this. Um, uh, a method is to kind of slow it, slow down the process. Of dying, hopefully, by throwing Pokeballs until it runs out of moves and hits itself. Or if you run out of moves, but honestly, I'm not even going to play that game. Rage that we don't run into it or learn a move. I don't even know what I'd forget. I guess Shadow Ball would be great. So, anyways, now we're in, in Mount Moon. And I guess I'll go more into, like, the challenge-related stuff now about this just because we don't oh the item spawned awesome yeah we got the 30s and the 10s oh, blessed um i'll go into like what what's going on here because obviously it's the first time i've gotten here on this channel so uh i haven't talked about it. let you know things up very No, I did it wrong. Uh, so you don't really want to fight people at first just in case you get poisoned or something. You have to carry that around with you and you can die. I don't even think I have anything to heal poison either. It also makes me think... That's bug poison. Yeah, not fun. Um, makes me think I probably shouldn't... Budge bomb hard because I don't want to use earthquake. I, I gotta see how much burn does. Which I imagine at this point isn't much. Uh, but the reason I gotta do that, because we are one-shotting this cave. There's no going out to the uh, Pokemon Center and healing, which means I need to watch my health. I also need to watch um, uh, my PP for moves, because if I run out of moves, 
I'm um so basically the strat as far as I understand it is to avoid the trainers at first get all the items oh I got full heal okay, so that's better we want to avoid all the trainers get to the end where there's essential trainers defeat them okay, I don't know about this glitch thing I'm not doing it right there's a way to press start or something maybe it's because it's 200% Let's see what this is baby okay it's doing something that's good ah oh, see that's what I'm talking about see well I guess all of my attacks are gonna make contact so I have I think I just have this full heal. I have citrus berry, which is health. I'm really just this full heal, so I guess I'm gonna just take a hit from this little beldum and get rid of it. So, obviously, if you played Pokemon, you know poison affects you outside of battle, you slowly die. Um, and you can get poison from moves, like Poison Sting or Sludge Bomb, you can get poison from abilities like poison point and you can also from other abilities like if i poison someone and have the synchronize ability um then i'll get poisoned as a response so we'd be pretty screwed if we got poisoned now we wouldn't be able to battle any of the trainers you have to leave immediately and hope we survive um that's a bug dying so um Turns gotten a bit beefy somehow, like already. That's pretty good. I think it was better called than Steel Wings. Steel Wings inaccurate. So, anyways, the idea here is we beat these two trainers and then we can technically leave the cave. And what we want to do is not die, obviously. But in order to do that, I need to have PP for attacks and not be poisoned and stuff. Man, speed boost is hype to that. We could still get clapped at any moment from random RNG, but I'm grateful for the small wins we are getting with this mon. Potentially. Um, all right, sweet. So we've now defeated the main trainers, and we could technically leave when we want without having to fight more. There's just some items here I'm going to grab really quick in case one happens to be healed. So as soon as we exit that. Man, we have so many revives. <laughs> Useless. Uh, once we exit that other uh, ladder, we're out of the cave and we can't come back in. So ideally, what we want to do now is go back and fight all the trainers so that we um, get all the XP from here. Which will put us in a better position to defeat whoever comes next. Oops, I didn't have a refill. 
Um, so yeah, when you end up getting a Mon that just doesn't have good moves, that or a Mon that just can't kill in one hit, or you run out of moves, or you get statist, obviously makes this part hard, which is kind of why it's one of the more interesting ones to watch. I mean, sections of the challenge to watch. It's very make or break for a run. So I can only use Earthquake. We're already at 29, so that's pretty good. And Return's doing pretty good, so these are good, this is good news. Three revives. So another thing we're trying to do is save our heals. So we don't want to have too many, like we don't want to waste potions because they're finite. So as you can see, we're going around and collecting all these random items. Those are the only items we get to use for stuff like this. Um, fighting. I don't know if he resists poison. I don't think he does. Sweet. Level 30. That's awesome. 30 is a good level. Like, if you leave this cave with level 30, you're happy. Hoping we don't see Shedinja, but to be honest, that could happen at any point. Even in the future fights, so it wouldn't matter too much anyways. Can use return on this because it's small. 340 BST. We're going for the full clear. Some nice EXP, I think. I mean, the rockets are a little harder, but whatever. Just do it. Usually, you try to save these guys for last just because. Oh, so he's ground flying? He'd probably he'd resist poison, so I'm going to use this. Oh, I have high defense, that shouldn't hurt. And I feel like that Zati is a little beefy, a little tanky. High defense, but it doesn't really matter if I mark it. Uh, lick? Fuck! Man, I really wish I didn't learn Swords Dance immediately. Because that's Shedinja coverage. Even though it's a really crappy move, it's the one move that could hit a Shedinja. So theoretically, I should learn it. A smart person who does runs of this game, who, like, has done... Lots of runs would probably learn it over Swords Dance. Fuck, man. I should have kept the Swords Dance TM to like the end of the game. Although, I guess it wouldn't matter because if I have Sludge Bomb return at Earthquake, I need more coverage than that. Like, the Elite Four, you could easily run into a Shedinja because there's just, you're battling full teams and there's like five of them. Elite Four and then the Champion. I guess I might as well just do this over Sword Stance because ultimately with a moveset like this, I don't, I guess I just can't keep Sword Stance in the long term because as beefy as it is and it'd make me just annihilate everything, there's just a weakness in this. Like, this isn't enough coverage to clear the whole. 
Ah, uh, DeBredge. Should have kept the TM just as an emergency thing, I guess. Although, I don't know how that would work. I guess I'll learn this so that I can beat a Shedinja if it comes up. Which I didn't really want to. That kind of hurts to have to lose Sword Stance. Because, like, if I end up facing some Pokemon that resists and resist every attack I have or has high defense I could use sword stance and then clap them all the same so it's like really good strat I guess if uh if for example instead of so, so return as a move is really strong um but if for example I got shadow ball instead of return which is physical in this generation I probably We'll just go Sludge Bomb, Shadow Ball, Earthquake, uh, Sword Stance, and obviously not learn Lick. More out of necessity than desire, I guess. But that's what happens in this. You can't be too attached to things that come and go, because it's uh, very easy to get thrown curveballs. I'm definitely running out of PP. I'm going to use this PP up on Earthquake. Earthquake's just a great move. We have seven returns. Okay, so we be, we're almost full clear. Now, this is kind of risky because I think that guy doesn't battle. I think I beat this girl, right? Yeah, so I beat the rocket in this thing. It's just this girl and one more rocket. So, I guess I'm just going to risk it. I I don't know. Like, I don't know. Because I've only... Just, this is my second stream of this challenge. I'm not... I've been attaching too much to whether this goes far. There we go. Poison point. Oh, oh. This is risky. Blood Bomb's 90. I'm going to see what this does. Hopefully enough. But it's going to lose. Okay, so... What an interesting, risky thing. Alright, so now we're going to get hurt... by poison. Oh, I just fucked up. Oh, I might have just killed myself. I used a repel for 50 steps. No, okay. The repel should wear off just in time. And I'm going to use just four steps per. And I'm going to use... Don't I have a baby potion? Holy shit, I only have a baby potion. Oh, no, I have... I have the citrus berry. What needs to happen here? What do I do? The repel's gonna wear off. I'm gonna get a wild encounter and use the potion, and then I guess I'm gonna see. No, there's no way. I'm gonna have to use the citrus berry because the potion. No. So the potion is going to make it back. Oh, I guess he's not that strong. So I'm going to use the potion and the citrus berry because the amount of walking I have to do to get the Pokemon Center 46. Oh man, do I have to do... Damn it. I don't know how many steps I have left. Walk glitch, because after I get out of the cave, I'm gonna have 
a walk to go. And I can't go back to the Pokemon Center before, because once you go out, you can't go back in. That's so frustrating, man. Ah! That's so annoying. I'm doing this walk glitch where I take three steps and then I have to do this where I dance until I get another encounter. It'll reset the, the poison damage every four steps, basically, I think. Up to, getting out of this cave is going to... Oh, I can go four steps. I guess it's the next one. But yeah, I don't know how many steps it is. It, it's a lot of steps to go from where I am now. Three, four. A lot of steps to go from here to the Pokemon Center. And after I get out of the freaking cave where I can no longer do the this kind of not even a glitch two three four just this mechanic i can't ex I, is it even an exploit it's just a way of navigating it this mechanic of walking one two three, four and then dancing only works in a place where you can encounter wild pokemon so as soon as i exit the cave i can't do it anymore and that means that i'll be taking damage every few steps and I have a total of 45 health points. One, two, three, four. Um, and I have to use them to get to the Pokemon Center to heal so I don't die. Because not only do I not have a potion. I just want to make sure I don't have a heal in here. Because that would be really funny. Yeah, I didn't, don't have a heal. One, two, three, four. The reason I've slowed down as well to normal speed is because the buttons will be too sensitive and I'll end up poison damaging. So yeah, obviously I skipped one of the rockets. Three, four. Almost full cleared, but we'll take that. Level 31. Uh, not bad. Forget it. Someone poison pointed me. I actually can't remember. I'm probably gonna have to watch the stream back. Didn't know who did that? One, two. Oh. Right. Four. I just want to get out of here, so I'll look at the stream back on the stream in a sec. Um, yeah, so I gotta watch that. There's a lot of poison point on this file for some reason. And the other thing, as soon as we get out of this cave, there's a few items you want to pick up. Um, obviously, collecting items is pretty important, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but or I'm going to try to do it. That's why I'm doing the tedious dance. It was Torchic. I said Torchic either had poison point or a poison move off to be sure so there was igly buff and torque i basically bitten bitten toxified by babies three four hmm besides the sag besides the stats being weird and the sag about sword stance we're doing not terribly Is a little funky having to do the dance on the from so far out in the cave. And I really don't know how many steps there is either. I think we'll be fine once we get out to get back to this Pokemon Center, but I am gonna go for those items, so I just wanna make sure I have all the extra steps just in case. 
So that would be very depressing to do all this. Two, three, four, and then get back and just die. Poison. Two steps from the what sign? Only a few more. So for moves, now that we've gotten rid of sword stance, two, three, four. I think what we want a shadow ball to replace lick. Technically, we have coverage now, but lick's a terrible move. Shadow ball would be neutral to a Pokemon like Aerodactyl. What? Oh right, I'm slow. No. No, that could be it. Oh my god. No. Two, three, four. Fuck. That could be it. Either that or I can't get the items. I don't want to see Laron again. Don't do it. No! Oh, okay, we're dead. That's so sad. And he lowered my speed more. We're dead, guys. Yeah, there's no way to win this. That's so sad. What a crazy way for a run to end. <laughs> if the Lara if I wasn't slow, the Laron wouldn't have got me. And we would have been fine. And this guy could have gone maybe far. Oh man, that hurts. <laughs> bye bye, Blasty. Well, none of that mattered. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's is what it is for this challenge. That was fun though. That was a total curveball with that Blastoise. Alright, left gang. Oh, I missed the Houndoom. I love Houndoom a lot. The only reason it's not on my favorites is because, uh. I mean, I'll eventually put it on my favorites probably when I'm just getting bored, but. It just has a lot of weaknesses. Ooh, sunny day. Thanks, buddy. I mean, <laughs> I'm still a bell sprout, so it does like nothing, but sunlight he gave gave me sunlight to make my uh, thing stronger. No way we get out of the lab. Nope. Raikou, Marowak, Dusk. 
the mill. Oh, look, I can splash on him. Oh, burn? Never mind. <laughs> uh, just what he needed. Okay, pivots. Go mid. No, Espeon. I love Espeon too. I guess obviously I just love the evolutions, but uh, Espeon has always been like Jolteon was my first favorite evolution, but then Espeon in Gen 2 became my favorite. The reason Jolteon's on the favorites and not uh, Espeon is simply because. Uh, Psychic. I mean, it is fully randomized. I mean, I would put SB on there, I guess. Usually, psychic moves randomized aren't good, but I just remembered that's not even a thing here. I just tried to run. Um, I'd put SB on. What's super effective? You got Dark Ghost Bug. The benefit of water is like water typings is that at least their weaknesses are all special. It's electricity, it's electric and, and grass. You, you have consistency, you don't have to worry about numerous types of defense as much. Um, electricity, you really, electro type you got ground to worry about so you need high defense, but levitate can solve that maybe. I'm gonna go left. Missed the muck, missed the Groudon, got the freaking Sunkern. Ah. Uh, well, I'll be good sport and not drop the controller right now. Flash again. Man, that Blastoise run was fun. I still have to let it go to do in that area because I just feel like. Like, he just had the saddest death, like, <laughs> like slowly walking and then a little too slow, and... I, I'm just like, man, I wish I could have seen what he could do, you know? It was just getting started. Uh, left again, I guess. Okay. Well, I guess that's not the worst of all of them. Do I want to give a nickname? No, not really. EM38, so Blaine on this file would have Mog. Slack off. Arzards here. I didn't actually really look at this Azumarill stats because I'm just not interested. Defensive and all around. Go back out. Watch this huge for me again. Leave me alone, unless you're the level 8, in which case, you, I'll catch you, I guess. Super potion, I like to see it.
deal with drought. No, thank you. Not ideal. I would catch a magmar. I see a level eight magmar. I might just do that now and just get one from over here. Yeah. Boom. Hmm. Nice. love hot cheetos but now I'm more into tackies or doritos dynamitas but i mean we're playing a nostalgic game so might as well make it nostalgic all right we got speed we got special attack that's good no special defense so even a droplet of water will end us i guess we're defense against ground Spell armor is what blocks critical hits. Yeah. And then we got bubble beam, muddy water, frenzy plant, acid. So I guess I would keep bubble beam. Oh wow, I guess muddy, muddy water is strong, just not accurate. Weird guy, but not not a runner. I mean, there's potential. At least we have high speed, so we can get away from stuff. Is lucky. I'm only four fifty five. I guess I probably wouldn't go for that just because Agmar's runnable stats. I wouldn't like there could be improvements, but hey, that's just what this game is. You take what you can get sometimes. I think I have enough speed to go get the items, so I think I'm gonna do that while I scout maybe the last options. There's that um, Pikachu encounter in here in the unrandomized game that's uh, I could show up, and I guess that would be this guy. Uh, not interested. So I guess we're running the Magmar with mostly water moves. I could go back for the Charizard, but it also has rock weakness, so I'll do this. Go Hot Cheeto! Beam. I guess I gotta use Muddy Water. Or Frenzy Plant, but I don't. This dude's specially tanky. How much this does in the frenzy plant? Frenzy plant. about Blasty again. So curious, like, how far would he have gone if he didn't just get snuffed out by poison? I know Muddy Water's stronger, by the way. I'm just using Bubble Beam because it's more accurate. <laughs> oh, the one-hit KO. And that's that. For that run. 
Not much of a run. We got Firestone. So here's hoping we get something in the lab that can follow the Firestone. And uh, Quick GG and Chillin' came up with Stone Claws, which is their own thing, and I'm vibing with it. So if we see a Mon here that can evolve with that Firestone, we're going to take it regardless of left, right, mid. I'm going to go mid. That's funny. Randomizer would have picked uh, right, which is definitely the best choice. Oh, this Flaffy has Levitate? I can't remember. It evolves at level 30, though. I can't remember if... I'm pretty sure when it evolves, it's going to lose its... Uh... definitely randomizes stats. I can't remember if it keeps its ability. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, though. I'm just going to do a quick Google, because that levitate is huge. That means that the one weakness, the ground, is, a uh... Yeah. It's just weak to ground, so... Levitate nullifies that. This Nothing is super effective against this thing. And we got, we're kind of slow, but it, we at least have positive nature, so the speed might catch up. We got good special attack, a couple strong moves. Let me just quickly Google. Come on, Aaron Martin does ability change with Evo. I have a feeling it does. Yeah, I... Ah. Uh, we're out of the lab, anyways. Um... I don't think it will keep its ability, and it'll evolve into something that's not Ampharos. I'm pretty sure it loses the ability, and if it doesn't, then... I guess my bad, but I think I'm gonna pivot. Whoa, Alakazam only has 490 BST. I thought it was stronger. If this was an Ampharos, I would cert with these stats and levitate, I would 100% run it and be very excited about it. Wow, Alakazam had to go for it. That's funny. But. So the thing here, and that almost was my life. The thing here is that this guy, or girl, I can't remember what, yeah, this this gal, uh, I mean, I use dude and guy kind of gender neutrally. Anyways, I guess, but anyways, whatever. Um, beef stones, so we have lots of stones. Anyways, I won't run this because it'll force evolve at level 30. And when that happens, probably lose levitate and that just means that for the whole time up until then we're running around with a freaking 365 bst flaffy who sure can't get hit super effective but still at a disadvantage
attack turn. I almost never see this guy. No, that doesn't affect it. Oh, he almost fissured me. What else do you have? Yeah. The reason I was using an ineffective move is because I didn't want to kill it. I just wanted to see what moves it had. Grass. So funny saying baby grass is for my oh scyther. Uh, check what other are around before I catch it because it's ways to catch something. Saying baby grass in reference to a grass full of babies made me just ah. Uh, remember when I was a child. Uh, playing golf with like my grandpa or something that's someone my mom or grandpa i think called the putting green on the golf course baby grass i guess but i'd be more gentle around it and i remember oh yeah baby grass pat 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 funny more funny to me than anyone else i guess but it's probably gonna have a few golf jokes and grass full of babies now i suppose about how that works uh left <laughs> missed another hound oh sweet okay so when you land on a legend that you can't take you can pick whatever you want and i definitely don't want that guy i'm gonna go with the hound doom i <laughs> call it horn dog but maybe i just don't want that to be around all the time Big doggy. Mm. What do I call this? I'm trying to think of like a funny name for it that isn't too crude. The, what's the animal in Avatar The Last Airbender called? Like the giant beast. It calls him Fluffy, I think. Oh, this guy Fluffy. Oh, no. Well, the rival has Mewtwo. And I only have Stomp. I have no speed. Well, Fluffy's about to get clapped. I'm about to die from poison damage. Then. Next move. Water Absorb Wismer. <laughs> this thing's about to skull bash me into oblivion. Boom. Done. Alright, I'm gonna do just a couple more here. See if we can find anything cool. Up. 
because the that moves can't miss. Okay, well. So. thinking about I mean obviously if I'm doing this I'm gonna be playing this one game for a while most likely like if I happen to beat it without thousands and thousands of runs I'd be deeply surprised but um very drawn to gen 4 like soul silver after this one but only if the start was patched somehow where you just didn't have to because here the rival fight happens immediately you know that you are either out or done whereas in gen 4 it's not that simple it uh Takes a while. But I don't know if I could do that, so I'd probably go Emerald after this, maybe, and at least give it a shot. I haven't thought about the logistics of which, what makes Emerald harder or easier. Hopefully, by the time I get to that point, they've patched. Uh, someone's patched Soul Silver, so you can skip the time part of the intro. Of a moonstone. Oh, I can just bring by five, five levels. Man, there's no pivots so far. Everything is hinged on this grass right here. Because I don't think I'd run this. It has negative attack nature, attack stats are split. Oh no, okay, well, might be a drop the controller situation. I'm not saying this thing couldn't run, just that it would be very fruitless. It wouldn't get far. Probably wouldn't be very entertaining either. My hope, if I really wanted to hang out, would be the Pikachu encounter, like a random one. I guess I'll I'll try. I'm not running Azu. Guess I might as well up and try to get the items up here as a re. If I get to the last item and no, there we go. That's that's okay. That's redemption for this file. Like that's why I'm waiting for a uh, 
Oh my gosh, that's hyper beam. Uh, okay, pedal dance locks me in. I'm gonna fire blast and hopefully burn it. Oh, and that's probably my life. Okay, well, it either catches or it doesn't. Hey. Uh. Going. Beam theme, blue beam's the vibe, maybe. No, there's no natural occurring beams that are blue. Water bean. There you go. That was the Pikachu encounter, so. Oh, and it had con Twisted Spoon with Confusion. Oh, it has Hustle. And oh, okay, well. Okay, so you see Hustle? Breeds accuracy for power, meaning it makes you miss more, but your attack stronger. I also have no attack. If good special attack, okay speed. I think it's a runner. We're just gonna not... I guess we're just relying on... I'm this far, I might as well get... I guess I'm this far. Uh, it's a bean and it's a mermaid. Oh no! We got some fucking thick cheeks right here, and we didn't even... How is there another one? I thought this was the special encounter. This must be it. Well, to be honest, HM Companion, I'm just catching it because I'm curious at what I missed. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, well, this, this, this file's done. Guillotine, are you kidding me? Well, oh man, it almost ended right there. I'm gonna do like one or two. Oh, actually, this is our 69th attempt. The iconic. Left. I don't know the firestone. Wow, what a great file. Rival has a Dragonite. We have a full fix that prevents has a water availability that prevents burns. Absolutely nothing. Well, oh, this I didn't even get to. All right, I'm gonna do three more files. Assuming if I if I get out of the lab, it's the last file. But if I don't get out of the lab, I'll do a total of three. Left. Odd. Let's just get this over with. One.
left again. Uh, Tyranitar, my fave. Too bad I can't. Does that mean he picks Tyranitar? Got flamethrower and no special attack. Oh. Oh. And that's my life. Alright, last file technically. An iron. Mid. They're all terrible. I have two one hit KO moves. Holding a Moo Moo Milk. I don't even want to save this thing's life, even if I could. Oh, what did I press? I meant to press an alarm. Oh man, I could have won. Oh, actually, I still did win. Weird. I guess we'll see how far this file goes. I have a 290 BST freaking pinecone here. Not much to offer in any area, so like I'd be surprised if it even survives the grass starting out here. But we are up against a quillfish. Did that say it was in the 400s? That's actually surprising to me. Four thirty on a cool fish. A single Evo. So surprising. Just berry. Feeling it. Generally, I'm gonna try to play this game pretty intuitively. I'm just gonna run here for pivots. Okay. I guess I would just go for a level 8 Gardevoir if I f yeah. Mostly because if I spent time trying to scout it, I'd probably just die. Oh, but I'm escaping it easily. That's not good. That means it's slow. Guess no Gardevoir. Uh, agree with Drone and Earthquake. That's something. I've never seen before. Go somewhere else. This is a very steely swine up. Well, that's not do we have I could heal. Okay, that's it. All right. Well, I'm gonna call it for this stream. Hopefully, next time's a bit better. Yeah. Much love to anyone watching this. Thanks for checking it out. Need to do more soon. Have a good one, guys.